So the pine rockland is a critically endangered habitat on a global scale. It only exists on the uh, Miami Rock Ridge, on a few little fragments in the Bahamas and in Cuba and in the Florida Keys. Some of those areas are even disappearing. One of the places in, in the globe, if you want to go see sea level rise and the consequences, is you go to the Florida Keys and you look at the Pine Rockland down there. Some of the last little spots of Pine Rockland left, sea levels are rising, salt water intrusion, increased hurricanes are making it disappear. Scientists go there to study sea level and climate change because it's happening. That makes these fragments up on the high Miami Rock Ridge of Pine Rockland even more important because those areas that are disappearing down there due to those factors, these areas are disappearing due to fire suppression and, and uh, urban sprawl. We need these species and these very diverse fragments to exist. So Pine Rockland itself, the habitat, is the most biologically diverse habitat in all of South Florida. We often think of the Everglades and you know the Bass uh, River of Grass out there, but actually it has more species richness than the Pine Rockland. And the Richmond Tract, which we're standing in right here, out of all the Pine Rockland fragments that still exist, this is the most biodiverse of all of them. By far, it has more species. It has over 230 different plant species, native plant species here. And in the Pine Rockland altogether, there's about 40 that are endemic to the Pine Rockland. Um, around, I think, 23 to 25 don't exist anywhere else in the world. So that is what we know. The, the problem is there's stuff that we don't know.